So guys, you know what I get asked a lot these days is where have all the cheap cars gone? Well, if you're in the market for a small family SUV under 20,000 pounds, there's only two available in the UK, two. And this is one of them, the all new Sanyong Tivoli. And I'm gonna tell you all about this car and why this should be the one that you choose. If only for that front bumper, you've gotta check this out. So stick with me. Before we get into looking at all the details on the fantastic new Tivoli, I think I'll just clear up. Now, you might think I'm being OTT when I say there's only two manufacturers that are making a small SUV, which is under 20,000 pounds. I'm really not. The other one is a Dacia Duster, okay? And that's 19,695, okay? But as we'll reveal in a minute, three-year warranty, not as good, blah, blah, blah. Now, there is also the MG. Now, you can get the MG with a 1.5 um, petrol engine, but the reason I've discounted that one is it's a really old school engine. They've used that for like 15 years now, and it isn't turbocharged. It makes nowhere near the same amount of power. It's really noisy. The CO2 is a lot higher. There's just lots of issues with that engine. It also doesn't have anywhere near the same level of specification. So I've discounted it. It's just not not really worth including. Um, and before I get loads of comments and things like that, I know there are cheaper cars. You can get, you know, a Suzuki Ignis. You can get a, um, you know, a Kia Picanto for less money, but they're not the same vehicle. What we're looking at here is we're looking at a small family SUV, which, you know, not only is it on vogue, but they're practical, they're useful. And that is what we need to compare to. So with that in mind, let's head in and have a look. Right guys, so with that under our hats, let's check out that new front end. This is what everyone's been dying to get a hold of. Look at that, it looks absolutely amazing. It really does change the look of the car considerably. Um, I'll stick up some photos almost certainly that are gonna be slightly better than this shot I'm pulling at the moment, but man, it does look great, it really does. We've got some really cool details. I'm just gonna turn you around. So we've got this kind of, um, this is iron silver, by the way, this particular color, um, one of the new colors for Tivoli. Um, but you've got the, the same kind of uh, gold, guild, guild, I think that's probably the word to use, guild fog lights, which are an LED fog light here um, that the Corando use. And it kind of really gives it that like corporate identity. Uh, but we've got the um, influences from the Torres now coming onto Tivoli. So we've got a really smart looking badge on the front. We haven't got a Sanyong wing badge on the front anymore. And instead, we've got other details as well. So we've got this kind of tungsten colored um, big grill, which has got some really nice kind of little aero dimples on the bottom. And you've got these kind of accents, which I think um, really, really add to the look of the car. So if I move back ever so slightly, you can see you've got uh, your tow hook cover, which is this really beautiful kind of orange metallic combined with the black piano in the grill. And again, this orange metallic. And overall, it really gives a very, very attractive look to the front end of the car, makes it look really, really, really great road presence on the front really happy with that front end so yeah like i said i'll stick up some really good images of that so you can study that and enjoy and then we'll move on so we've got a brand new 18 inch wheel now i have to tell you that this is an ultimate model so the ultimate model does have 18 inch wheels the ventura model that we are offering at 19995 it will have a 17 inch wheel which will look ever so slightly different i will get some images up of what that will look like as soon as I possibly can. But this new wheel uh, called the Turbine, I think, um, really pretty. So again, it's a um, what we call diamond cut finish. So you've got the darker metallic gray paint in the center of the wheel there. 
with a lathed polished finish on the outer and it just looks great as I'm sure you'll agree. Let's move on. The back end of the car's had a really big revision as well which is great to see. So we've got a completely revised lower bumper and we've got our fantastic from Rexton smoked badge again. So you've got this kind of smoked matte badge which is really really pretty and at the bottom again you've got this kind of tungsten um, insert with the, uh, the hexagon internal and underneath that again you've got these kind of highlighted accents there uh, kind of hints a little bit of aero um, so it's the kind of thing that you might have bought originally as an accessory but they've added it on as a standard feature which is absolutely fantastic but again if I spin you around and give you an image of the back the back of the car looks really really smart really really smart now being an ultimate this one's got the little lip spoiler on it um, in all in all honesty I don't actually know whether the Ventura model is going to come with that but we can hope but yeah really smart looking back end on that car now so under the bonnet largely unchanged from the previous generation if you had a ultimate model or an ultimate automatic or an auto nav um, but this is the key thing on our battleground here um, if you are going for a Ventura which is the model we're talking about for um, 19995 um, this is a really, really powerful engine in the market. So this is 165 horsepower, um, turbo 1.5, and it being turbocharged makes it that much quieter, it, and it gives it that refinement that you really, really want. So all of the other manufacturers are way above 20,000 pounds if you want to have a turbocharged unit. So a real result for Sanyong that they can provide this excellent engine um, and as we'll find out in a bit when we go and do a test drive uh, we'll find out it's a lot more efficient as well than some of the other contenders so great news so lots of changes outside but you've got lots of changes inside as well so I'm going to spin you around and I'm just going to talk you through the all-new dashboard so starting from the top down we've got this large center strap line which is now again this kind of tungsten finish you've got two tone you've got new surrounds uh, around the uh, air vents there which are kind of a brushed aluminium look and then you've got again this kind of tungsten color plastic which comes across the all new screen which this is the the larger 9.2 inch unit as fitted to the ultimate the um, 8 inch screen is actually ever so slightly smaller that you will get on the Ventura model but still a very very competent unit um, and of course as I showed in some of the montages there you've got the software from the previous generation but again I think there's been a uh, update on the chipset as this is a much faster unit now but that strap line continues behind the wheel as you can see there across to the other side as you can see there and of course in the middle we have our old friend the 12 and a half inch uh, digital display which is obviously uh, fully customizable uh, lovely animations there as well and of course on the ultimate models you can have it display the navigation in the dash as well which is really cool but yeah it's a very very competent display and we've been very happy with it before so further down we now have a touch panel display, uh, sorry, touch panel um, heater control like you had with uh, the new Rexton and the new Musso. And it's great. Again, it's one of these that isn't overly sensitive. It's not difficult to use. It's wiped clean. It keeps the cost down, but it works. It's not a problem. So we're quite happy with that and hopefully you will be too. The seating and the rest of the interior are largely unchanged from the 2020 uh, model Tivoli, um, but that's not such a bad thing because they were already great seats. So ditto for the rear, nothing really changed from the 2020 model other than the switch gear on uh, the windows here and the doors are a little bit different just to match the look obviously of the rest of the car. but. In case you didn't know, um, the Tivoli is one of the only cars in its class where you can actually adjust the rear seats and put them slightly further back. You can see that there, which if you haven't got a taller passenger, it gives you masses more headroom. I think that's a really, really neat feature and uh, it hasn't really been shown very much in uh, a lot of the media that I've seen. Anyway, let's check out the boot. 
The boot on the Tivoli's always been really, really good, but in 2020, they did make the car wider, longer, and taller, and it did give the car a whole load more boot space. And as you can see, it's very nice and deep, so you can get things standing up. And of course, the parcel shelf is removable. You just go and pull your finger there, and it pops out. And of course, if you need, you can go and drop the seats down. They don't go completely flat, but it does mean that you've got a nice, large opening to get anything you need in there. And if you want to, you can opt for the optional trays that do give you flat loading if required. But personally, I'd stick with the nice deep boot there. I think it's a lot more usable like that. Right guys, so we've established that the car is cheap. Good value, not cheap. We've established that you can get a small family in here. And we've also established that it's got some really, really great new features but how does it drive well I'm going to take it for a spin and I'm going to do my usual thing of resetting the mileage uh, mpg meter here and I'm going to drive it to my little country destination to do some more filming and I'm going to let you guys know exactly what mpg I get out of it now naturally I'm going to drive it as gently as I possibly can but I am going to stick at the speed limits um, so uh, effectively giving you what you want so let's take it for a run and see how it drives. Now, it's a relatively hot day today, nice late September day, um, and it's about 21 degrees, I've got the aircon on, um, and first thing out of the trap, I've got to say, it is quiet. I mean, this engine is really, really quite a refined version um, to put into a car this size. Um, I mean, often manufacturers will kind of plonk you know, your standard kind of um, small hatchback engine and just boost the power a little bit when they do this. But this car, it's got the 1.5 turbo engine, 160 horsepower, 163 to be exact. So, you know, really, really fantastic result. Um, and it shows. And it means that you can be a lot more relaxed about the way you drive it. You don't have to thrash it everywhere. And that means it's quiet, I guess. So yeah, really, really impressed with that. Um, second thing I'm very impressed with, I haven't always been a huge fan of Sanyong's manual transmissions and I'm driving a manual today, but this one is great. It's really slick, goes into gear really nicely. They've obviously made changes around that, so really, really happy with the way that that operates. And thirdly, the ride quality. Um, the Tivoli has been criticised in the past for having a slightly harder ride. Um, but this is really compliant. Now we're hitting a few little bumps and lumps around and I genuinely would say it's probably the same ride quality now virtually as the Corando, its bigger brother, which I always thought was um, the best ride quality you got in the Sanyong range. So really, really chuffed about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, thus far, it's a really, really, really nice car to drive. Um, steering's nicely weighted as well. I mean, it's just everything you would uh, you would want from a car this size. Currently just over uh, 33 miles to the gallon at the moment. And we're just about to head on to a little bit of dual carriageway. So we'll see how that drops down as we speed up a little bit, because we've just been really 30 and slightly under. And take us up to 65.70 so just go get us up to 60 there we go and I'll stick the cruise control on so 65 miles an hour and we're going slightly uphill here road noise it's a little bit more than the Corando, but still very, very good, I would say. Nothing to be upset about. And it's going to bump it up now to uh, 70. And have a listen as well. Hear the um, lane assist coming on as I do my bad driving here. So, yeah, 70 miles an hour. Very nice. Now, I, I don't know what Sanyong's done to the suspension in this car, but they've certainly done something to change the damping or they've done something to make the ride more compliant or supple. It, it's certainly a lot 
smoother riding over those kind of niggly UK brakes in the road or the drains and stuff like that, like the stuff that we're just going over now. It's just really compliant and there's no rattling, no noise. It's, it's a really, really pleasant uh, experience in the car. After that little journey, a really commendable 46.8 to the gallon, which I'm dead chuffed with. So really good result. Right gang, so now we've looked around the car, we've seen the facelifted items and we know how well it drives. We've even touched on the economy as well. So let me take you inside, we'll hang out at the desk and I will tell you why this is better than all of the competitors and why you should be spending your hard earned and getting your family into one of these. Let's go in there now. Right gang, so I'm pretty sure you're aware of how much you can get a Tivoli for. Like I said, the whole point of this video, you, we are offering a Tivoli Ventura for 19.995 or you can get it for £289 deposit and £289 a month on a 48-month PCP, okay? The banners will be around my head now, floating around for you to see, but it's a fantastic deal. But where is the unique selling point? Why should you be going for this rather than the Dacia? Well, it all comes to durability, basically, and I've got this white Tivoli behind me. It's quite a special car, in my opinion, and I'm going to switch you to the other camera and just give you a, a quick tour of this one as to why this should be the incentive to buy a Tivoli. Let's have a look. Right, guys. So why am I showing you this old Tivoli? Well, this Tivoli is a 2019 EX model. Now, the EX was the entry-level model that they first launched. So we're talking about the bottom of the range, okay? Much like we're talking about now with the deal that we're offering, so for 19995 This car is a shining example of the durability because this car is four years old and it's covered 140,000 miles and it is in great condition. There are some marks on it somewhere and I've taken it straight off um, our fleet. It's got a few bits and pieces missing. Um, and a few marks on it, but I wanted to, sh to show it to you as it is. It really is a shining example of exactly why you you know, you should buy a Sanyong because when you're buying a car which is great value for money, you want to know that it's going to be durable and it's going to last. And this is precisely why I want to show you this car in a bit more detail. So let's take a look. So let's start with the front end of this car. Now, 140,000 miles, you would expect loads of stone chips on the front of this car. You would expect uh, maybe even oxidized headlamps, you know, where they go kind of opaque as well. But none of that. I mean, you've still got a really nice, shiny, lacquered finish on the front. There's no lacquer peeling. You know, some of those, remember those old red cars that used to go pink and lose the lacquer and stuff like that? None of that. All the plastic work is in really, really good order. It is dirty. I mean, look, look at this dirt but it is in great shape and that goes for the metal work as well so i mean up to the the bonnet lip normally you have loads of stone chips along the front you know rust starting to come through dense i mean you can't do 140k without something falling off the back of a truck can you but again if i look at that bonnet it is in still fantastic order really really great around the back of the car still nice and dirty as you can see a uh, little bit of a dent in the back Someone's obviously had a little bit of a knock in the back of it there. But again, paint's not broken. Good news. Again, testament to the quality. Right, let's have a look in the interior, see how that's fed. Right, in we go, guys. Now, I do um, apologise if it's a little bit dark in here um, for my camera today. But we have our first bits of wear. So let's go and hone in. So this car, as you can see, done 139.162. Driver's seat. Lower bolster and lower part of the seat is in really good condition, but you can see there is a little bit of wear on this big bolster here. So after 140,000 miles, the first little bit of wear. But then we move to steering wheel. Again, you'd expect other cars to have worn off the buttons, for example, on the volume control, if I get in just to make things a bit easier. There's no wear on the tops of these at all. All of the stalks and everything else have got all of the um, descriptions on still all of the buttons on the stereo work so you've got your controls for that you've got the heating controls you've got the everything just works still you know I've been in so many cars in my experience when you have this kind of mileage and everything starts falling to bits 
Sanyong really do know how to put a car together and it is the reason that I think you guys should go for one of these if you're looking for a small family car. And last but not least, let's go and start her up. Lovely and smooth. No fuel in it, mind, but lovely and smooth. So there you have it, guys. What better reason to buy our car over others than to know that after you finish paying for it, if you're buying it on finance, maybe after four years or maybe just buying it cash, you know that it's going to stay together and it's going to be a quality car. So it will be of value in the future. You know, it's going to be a quality machine. And that, I think, is really the unique selling point with Sanyong and why you guys should be going for one. So give us a call, give us a message and come on down for a test drive. It is a phenomenal vehicle and we'll gladly see you on the next video.